What's up all you Triple Force Friday and New York Comic Con loving dudes and dudettes. Toysh is here and what a week. We're going to combine what a week and what a weekend together because it's just been crazy. A lot of finds and happenings and all kinds of great news in the toy and pop culture world. So without further ado, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. Let's get into it right right now. So first and foremost, a lot of Marvel Legends figures are on the horizon. Shout out to Sheev Sexer 9000. They came across the link for the upcoming fan channel, and also Amazon, GameStop, Entertainment Earth, all that stuff. The uh, the Iron Man, the Invincible Iron Man, the one where he's in that black and blue armor. He's got the lightsaber and such like that. So that is up on Amazon. If you want, I'll put the link in the description below. I went over to Kohl's, and Kohl's, they were putting out some new Super Mario figures, which I actually found a couple days ago. This was uh, a week ago now. They they had some Jurassic Park sets I've never really seen on uh, on clearance, so picked up a really nice box set for five bucks basically. And then shout out to Victoria's Cantina. So shout out to Disney Bride to Be for the initial Nintendo all that heads up at Coles. Thank you again for that writing in. And Victoria's Cantina, be sure to check her out on her YouTube and Instagram. She does lovely work with all kinds of Star Wars, Jurassic Park, and. We just got done with a podcast, which should be up soon, talking all about Batman 89, but she gave me the heads up. She found the new Dino Rivals Jurassic Park line. They're ringing up at Walmart through three fifty, dollars and I just saw more the other day, so Walmart has not corrected that, so you might want to get on it if you want any of those. I've been blasting through the Jack-specific Super Mario Advent calendar, lots of great little characters i think at the very end i'll do a little video where i show them off individually this is something just fun day by day that i'm doing and i've had a blast doing so so i'll have i'll keep that going there's 10 more days of that as of this video so that's a very exciting shout out to action figure attack on instagram definitely go and check them out they uh, sent over this thing that uh, this was on the 5th so i mean a couple days ago now but uh this uh, meet Becky Lynch, the man from WWE. I know who she is. I couldn't go into detail about her, but, you know, very nice opportunity to meet her at the Los Angeles Amazon bookstore. So if anybody went to that, please let me know how it was. Very curious to always see those types of events. And they had the first glimpse at new action figures and your first chance to buy them as well. And then, of course, also the big, before Triple Force Friday, before the actual Friday was... Uh, Everyone was clamoring to see what was in this collector mystery box. And I guess, well, let's say spoilers. So I guess click ahead if you want. It's got a t-shirt. No, it's got a, a beanie. I thought it was a t-shirt. A beanie, a pin, a comic book, and then a first order snow trooper with a cape. So it's a black series figure. For, 40 bucks if you want one. I don't know. They're also going to be a Target exclusive one as well. In December, I think it's pretty much the same exact figure. So if you want all that other stuff, Loot Crate-esque type stuff, then be sure to go and grab it. And moving on from there, shout out to Mervine48. They wrote in, they were at Disney's California Adventure and came across a brand new Marvel Disney's Toy Box set. It's got Captain America and the Winter Soldier, extra head portraits, a motorcycle, cap in his Winter Soldier attire. Looks to be closest to. So, interesting set, and it's always nice to know that these are still going. In fact, a lot of people really, really love this. So, I'm really glad that they wrote in. Thank you for that, and just so happy to get the word out and let everyone know, because, yeah, people are very excited. I honestly didn't know that these were as popular as they were, so that's really great to hear, and I still want to get that Spider-Man mobile. I'm still after that. I went to Walmart. And I've been one other day since for Triple Force Friday, but we'll get into that in just a second. But I came across a, I went to the Halloween, I go in the Halloween section every time I go in any store anymore. But just to see if they put new stuff out, you know, you never know. And they did. This is a inflatable Stay Puff Marshmallow Man Ghostbusters awesome Halloween decoration. And he's 29, $28.88, $29. Bucks. Rather large, you know, it's, it's, I, yeah, I, might have gotten one is pretty cool just to kind of have it and i don't know we'll see what happens but uh, i just i really i really like ghostbusters merchandise in the halloween section so very very excited to just always see that there's also a slimer one which we talked about last week 
And then, of course, shout out to CT underscore toy underscore hunts for the find. A lot of people been writing in now after since this post, so they kind of sort of hit this week. These are the arcade one up arcade machines that Walmart is selling. A couple other retailers are selling. I don't think Target has them just yet. I know they're on Amazon. This is the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's Turtles in Time, and then the arcade original. You can buy them. It's take it home, play it all day, all night, whatever you want to do. Comes with the standee that makes the system a little bit taller for adults, especially, and it'll run you $400, which is a lot of money. I'm so glad that I have them on <laughs> NES and Super Nintendo, so that was good. This came out of nowhere, and in the end, it was a it was a goof on Hasbro Pulse, so just FYI, you didn't really miss anything, but they are still honoring orders if you were able to put one in. So this is for the Yavin, or I'm calling him the Yellow Jacket Luke Skywalker. It's a European exclusive for Hasbro that's coming up towards the end of this month with the uh, European conventions that are going on. He went up a little bit early, sold out. Actually, it took him a while to sell out because I don't think people really knew or, you know, understood. I kind of got in the, I think, probably five minutes has gone by. Somebody messaged me. So thank you to everyone, including MCU Collector 24. Great guy. Go, definitely go and check out his uh, Instagram page and his YouTube. You know, he gave me the heads up and was like, you know, these are up. And I'm like, they're not supposed to be up till the 4th. And lo and behold, yes, they were. So if you did get one in, they are still honoring their uh, order you know they're not going to cancel it on you however it was sort of revealed at new york comic con today that if you don't want to get it on hasbro pulse it will be available at other retailers and he is going to come with the medal after all so there you go <laughs> uh and then kind of perusing the side i found some other images of the hyper real luke skywalker this i i, I kind of slipped my mind i knew i'd seen it but it just was kind of like, it, it seemed new, so I posted them anyways, especially in having the, the new Darth Vader Hyper Real figure, so I'm going to have to get a Luke to go with my Hyper Real Vader and the bases interlock and all that great stuff, so that's always fun. Hasbro went over and sent the, uh, uh, you know, press release, they're going to, they officially announced the Grey Hulk, the Incredible Grey Hulk that was released on Mexico, Amazon, like, pff, before comic-con happened and they've just been kind of figuring out how to wear and when to release it but he will be another uk convention exclusive along with a retro packed deadpool which we will get to in just a second and then he will be up on hasbro pulse and then also because the week has just been mad gamestop already has been getting them in they will not sell it to you till the fourth just fyi of november but yes they uh they these are when they're saying fan channel and everything, it's not just going to be Hasbro Pulse. It's going to be many places selling them. So look for your GameStop, Amazon, Entertainment Earth, things of that nature. Not so much Target, Walmart, those types of retail stores. I guess that's where I would dif differentiate these days. You got retail, you got fan channel. I guess that's the best. Shout out to my friends over at Toy Pizza. If you're not watching their YouTube or following their Instagram, they do amazing work. They're great guys, Jesse and Nikki. Hands down, greatest dudes just in terms of their knowledge of toys and their passion and everything behind it. So they are launching another 2020 action figure of the month. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description below. You get figures every month for the entire year of 2020. 2019 was super successful that they've gone on to do it for another year. So congrats to them. I also took a look at their team up with Super 7 for New York Comic Con. So you can look at that review as well. I'll put it up here in the little box up there. Put it in the link in the description below. You'll be able to find it. Not to worry. But really, congrats to them. And just you guys are the best. Thank you Always, Stranger Things 4 has a bit of a teaser trailer, not much in terms of footage, but uh, Stranger Things 4 will be coming, not announced as to when the exact date will start, but hey, you know what, their tagline is that the Upside Down will exist outside of Hawkins, so that seems to be pretty interesting, and I know a lot of characters, you know, have gone their separate ways, and maybe we'll see another character return, fingers crossed. We'll just have to wait and see what happens when that finally hits, but probably don't expect it for at least another year and a half, I would probably say. Oh, yeah! Entertainment Earth let me know that the once San Diego Comic-Con, Mattel 
snap into a Slim Jim Macho Man. Randy Savage, they found a couple extra ones and put them up on Entertainment Earth. So I hope that everyone that wanted one was able to grab them. It was a bit of a pre-order. So that is always good to see. I love when they find a little extra stock here and there. Did some fun things with Spider-Man, the animated series, which we will have to talk about. A lot of you, a lot of you need to start doing some research before you comment. My God, you guys write some things where I'm just like, they did not even look at the, it's the internet. I'm just going to let you know. Right here. The internet is open to everyone. All you do is you kind of type in a question like, hey, who is the Insidious Six? And, uh, you know, maybe they'll give you an answer. But yeah, I had some fun. This is from Maint underscore Date up on Instagram. He is still selling these Spider Man 90s animated series Peter Parker head sculpts for their Marvel Legend figure. So if you want one, hit him up on his Instagram. I'll put the link below. Send him a private message, and you guys can work out the deets from there. But highly recommend the head if you are a fan of the 90s Spider-Man. The Bop HQ, Birds of Prey, and the Fantabulous, whatever, Harley Quinn. Um, they released a bunch of new promo images. And I posted this one because I actually really like this one. I think that this is great. I like the marketing campaign in terms of the art style for this movie. And while I may have my apprehensions for it, and I'm overall kind of confused as to what they're doing, I don't have high hopes for the movie. I just hope that the movie is good and it kind of unleashes more DC Comics movies. That's you know the ultimate goal. But I really like this because it's Harley Quinn sitting with hyenas and, well, a hyena, say Bud or Lou, hopefully one of the two. And you know what? That's just that's a very fun image. Very Harley Quinn, if only she was in, you know, a, a, a regular outfit. I don't, uh, whatever they're doing with Harley Quinn, I I have I am set in my ways. I don't I don't not like what they're doing in the sense of oh I can't uh, I can't deal with that kind of thing. But uh, it's just one of those things where it it's very jarring. You know, having watched Batman the animated series and then see what Harley Quinn has kind of turned into. So. You kind of have to look at it from my point of view. It's just like, I, I'm used to Harley in the red and the black. That's that's just what it is. I think that's when it was classy, and they kind of turn it on its head, and it's like, eh, that's it is what it is. You know, you like it? Hey, good for you. I just, it's not my thing. Fingers crossed the movie's good. Not going in there with any high hopes whatsoever. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to Paradise underscore Loot for the heads up. Uh, it, well, heads up to the photo, and then thank you to Isachar Eyes, Guzman, I hope I said your name correctly, on the Toy Syndicate Facebook. They came across, and this actually subsequently started hitting throughout the week, so they found at their GameStop the Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero figure by McFarlane Toys. It's kind of one of the first times we'd seen the fully packed image. They didn't really release, like, press images showing it uh, before it launched in the store, so it's actually pretty cool to see, and... For a lot of people, big fans of Mortal Kombat, I think the overall look at it is that it looks pretty cool. So that's that's awesome. And there is a Scorpion one coming as well, and I'm sure further figures. But McFarlane's doing some interesting things. A lot of video game figures for McFarlane. I'm very much looking forward to what they do with DC. And then they also have a new figure, which they announced at New York Comic Con, which we'll talk about in just a second. Shout out and a thank you to Stretch the Truth AF on Instagram. They are the company that makes this super stretchy presidential figure. You might know him by Donald, the Donald Trump. Um, I'm not going to get into political stuff when I talk about this toy. It will be up this week. This is just like a fun... I look at it this way. If you're a big fan of what the president is doing, you're going to love this toy. If you aren't a big fan of this president, what he's doing... You're still going to love this toy because he's stretchy and you can take your anger out. I don't know, but (laughs) it's actually, it's very reminiscent of Stretch Armstrong. So like I said, thank you again to them and we will be taking a look at it later in the week. Again, with the Insidious 6, I had a great time. Like I love pulling out all my figures and, you know, kind of molding it to various, you know, old Spider-Man cartoon, yada, yada. We're going to take a look at the spot for Retro Shiz as well, and also Gwen Stacy from the old 90s line. But, uh, yeah, I posted this photo, and then a couple people decided to say that there are seven, (laughs) where 
I was confused if you don't think that I know how to properly count, but the name of the group is the Insidious Six, and Kingpin is purely there because if you'd watch the old cartoon, then you would know. Or just simply Google things. That's uh, that's all. But come on, it's all in fun. But um, yeah, seriously, start. Some of you start using Google. <laughs> Shout to the Near Plasma over in Dallas, Texas. They came across the brand new DC Collectibles Batman vs. the TMNT GameStop exclusive set. This one is, well, slated for around October 1st, so right on time. This is the Batgirl and Donatello. Previous releases was Batman and Leonardo, and then also Raphael and Robin. So this is the third set with still Michelangelo and Alfred to come, and then also a Shredder and Ra's al Ghul. So a couple sets... Then, of course, this was right around the time that was leading into New York Comic Con week on this past Monday. And again, shout out to Toy Pizza for sending this over. This was a look at their team up with Super 7. They did the worst versus the Knights of the Slice figures that they both do. It is available at New York Comic Con. So if you're still there as of today, I know there's a few hours left as of this recording, but you can still grab one for 35 bucks at the Super 7 booth and you can check out the review here. And it will be hopefully available providing extra stock and things on the various websites associated with Super 7 and Toy Pizza. So look out for that. Really fun figures. Interesting. Three and three quarter. They're just, they're different and they're like a welcome breath of fresh air. You know, when you look at the same sort of brands over and over again. So thank you again to Nikki and Jesse for those. That, uh, That was, meant a lot. Thank you very much. Also, Kotobokiya released their images for their Dokidomo It. It's basically just a sculpture. It's everyone's favorite Pennywise. It's the Tim Curry version. You can put them on your desk or anywhere. It's literally just it's a statue of this. So it's what you want to make of it. Uh, not really my thing, but hey, you know what? 65 bucks, and a lot of people really do like Pennywise. So in moving more towards the New York Comic Con week, I did a little bit of a tease for the certain sets that were uh, coming to me to give you guys a fresh look. This one's showing the, and I highly recommend, this is a laser shot NECA Predator. He is amazing. He's got a light-up LED light. i seen him a couple times in just some photos I've posted. But then, of course, behind him, is Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart from the Mattel DC Multiverse line. So just a little hint, hint, having some fun of what was coming. Shout out again to the Near Plasma. They came across the McFarlane Toys Doom Slayer action figure from Doom the Video Game. Very interesting. A lot of people want this one. This one one seems to be a huge fan favorite. I played Doom when I was a kid when it first started, uh, when it came out. I was more of a Castle Wolfenstein guy. I just that's just what it is that's the game I had I played that thing into the ground that was a really fun game as well total clone of doom basically but uh, yeah new doom video game and everything coming out and McFarlane Toys really capitalizing on the whole video game lines so they're knocking out of the park and I've been hearing nothing but good things about this figure so that is very cool keep an eye out to GameStop for those at the moment it's not just GameStop exclusive it'll be Amazon and other stores as well shout to mitch bb 1982 rad dude definitely go and follow him always writes always talks appreciate the conversation sir he was been asking me about the mario kart figures that were from mattel hot wheels he actually i thought he got I found a new yoshi that's how much stuff is actually coming you tend to forget but he came across a new koopa troopa car i have not seen it there's also a brand new wario and a light blue yoshi I did find Wario, haven't found these other two just yet. So if you are into the whole Hot Wheels Mario Kart line, look for some more carts and hopefully more set tracks too. If if you did not see, I posted some photos from San Diego Comic-Con. The entire Hot Wheels set of that, when you finally get all three sets so far together, it is enormous and it's, it's so much fun to look at. Like there's so much elements of Mario. You just, you gotta see it. Hopefully I'll, I'll do a, a video one of these days. I have a few of the sets, so it's it's amazing what they have done. Shout out to Mikey's Action Figures uh, at their SoCal Target store. They came across the brand new McFarlane Fortnite figures. These are more of the seven inch scale. He came, he found Peely, <laughs> and a lot of people have been wanting Peely. I myself want a Peely, and, and especially in the three and three quarter Jazzwares line. 
They're also doing a 6-inch Jazzwares line, but yes, if you're looking for Peely from the 7-inch McFarlane Toys line, so many lines of Fortnite figures, you can now start searching Target stores and online everywhere that sells these things. You can hopefully find yourself a human banana. <laughs> and then moving on into Transformers news. So this is the... a lot. And just to clarify, a lot of people seem confused on this. So... The new Transformers, starting with War for Cybertron Siege, it's the first in the line of a three-part, let's say, year-long epic. So three years of Transformers. They have War for Cybertron Siege, which we're just kind of finishing up with. The line did so well, they added an extra wave to it. So they kind of prolonged this new second sequel series. And that's fantastic because I, I cannot say enough nice things about these new transform they are absolutely killing it and they look fantastic now so we're moving away for from cybertron we're going into the the autobots and probably the septicons there's uh, they're going to be switching things up just a little bit so nothing really fully announced just yet but the autobots are landing on earth and now you have earth rise which i love that name for some reason it's so futuristic but also 80s in a way and then also anime ish for the japanese type transformers of course where they originated it just fits i love that name i think it's going to be fun to say that i even writing this earth rise and everything else i kind of had to get out of saying siege you know it's kind of funny but yes we will be transitioning from siege to earth rise it's not like a brand new wave series uh, for transformers it's still same scale, paying attention, everything's going to line up correctly, but now the Autobots, the war is coming to Earth, so I'm curious to see how they do it. The Optimus Prime is gorgeous. There are links up on Amazon. If you check my Instagram, I have all of them posted. As of New York Comic Con, they released them. Pre-orders, there's a Starscream. They, they are just, they're just begging for my monies, and they're getting it, and it's amazing, but this Earthrise Optimus Prime, you I, you just, I have so many Optimus Primes, you can't have enough Optimus Primes, and it's just, it looks amazing, so look out for Earthrise, there's a number of them, there's also going to be, you know, there's Ironworks, and there's also Grapple, and Wheeljack, and Hoist, and all kinds of new Transformers, so that's, it's a lot of a lot of fun. I, I'm so looking forward to that. Entertainment Earth released a bunch of new pops for all you pophead maniacs. There's a Galactus one. I heard that one did very well, so that's really nice to see. A lot of people were saying, though, they would have wished for a, you know, the larger pops they do. That would have been the perfect thing for a larger pop, and I do agree. I mean, we've been asking for that for Marvel Legends. You know, Jack Specific makes these wonderful giant Batman figures, Ninja Turtle figures. How awesome would that be to have a Galactus, you know, in that in that size? I guarantee you those things would fly off the shelf if you could make it. NECA Toys announced this is a really awesome. So uh, I was speaking with NECA, and they uh, are getting into Walmart stores now. And of course, a lot of people were like, "Well, more exclusives to not be able to find at Walmart." But if they uh, if you can actually find them, hopefully, fingers crossed, they have a number of Walmart exclusive just for Halloween sort of deal. There is a Evil Dead 2 and a Chucky, and not much difference in the sense of it's got a little bit new packaging, but it's more for the, like, the Chucky, I believe, is the one from the Bride of Chucky 2-pack, so if you didn't get that 2-pack and you want to get this Chucky, and it's just a really fun thing. So look from the entertainment section and then also in the Halloween section, which I absolutely love the cross sale there. If you're buying Halloween stuff and, you know, little kids are getting costumes and dad's like, oh, dang, I love these things. I'm going to get one for my desk. So excellent strategy there. I, I love when, when companies do that. So very well done. And then, of course, thank you again to NECA Toys. They sent over their New York Comic Con exclusive. So I very much appreciate that. I was not able to make it to New York Comic Con, but was able to get out some fresh looks of the Green Lantern Predator set and the Batman Alien set. And if you've seen my Instagram, my YouTube, I cannot stop talking about these. I have been waiting, waiting since these were announced for these figures. We didn't even know the Predator and the Green Lantern were coming. That was like an extra bonus. But if we're being honest, I mean, the, ba the Batman, the Superman, the Green Lantern, they're, they're fantastic. But that 
Yellow Lantern Predator. Just go watch the thing. I'll link them up here. Just I, I, I'm not going to do spoilers. Moving on, I came across these at Target. I, you know, I always look to see if there's any new anything hitting shelves that look interesting or may be a little bit different to kind of talk about. I don't know what the Showdown Bandit is outside of that it's like a video game, of course, or computer game. However, um, Fat Mojo, the ones that do DuckTales, they're making uh, office figures and, and things of that nature, really capitalizing, again, like McFarlane Toys with more obscure, and I say that lovingly, more obscure video game franchises like Bendy and the Ink Machine. And another one that I kind of just honestly found out about is they make the odd end games, much like Showdown Bandit. I didn't really know what it was until I kind of looked it up, but they made a couple action figures. There's three in the set for Wave 1, and they are hitting Target stores now. You got Miss Undertaker, Greaves, and Bandit. Again, I couldn't tell you hide nor hair about who these characters are, but I will say they look like the video game. They're sculpted well, and as far as articulation, looks minimal. But if you're a big fan of the game, yeah, you might be interested in these. And yes, like I said, I've been having fun with all of these NECA toys, the two-packs, and kind of intersplicing them with the Predator and Alien figures that I have. So a lot of fun to be had. If you ordered them, they should be shipping shortly after New York Comic Con concludes. So you should have them in hand, hopefully within you know, a week or two. We, you know, Don't quote me on that, but uh, usually they ship pretty much after the conventions that uh, they were announced at. So I hope everyone enjoys them. Shout out to Collect Jurassic. So everyone's been waiting for the Brachiosaurus, the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World Legacy Collection. And it finally hit today on October 6th. However, a few people managed to get past the street date because... Target did whatever they did. They dropped the street date. And then some people, like, there was like crazy folks, like, oh, my God, I got it, I got it. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm sitting there and wanting to go to Target. And uh, lo and behold, it, I mean, it was later at night, so kind of people got them just before store closing. And lo and behold, they reinstalled the street date. So you could not get it in a store, local store by me. It kept saying, yeah, we got two in the back, we got two in the back. And um, I showed up this morning. And managed to grab one. So I'm very stoked on that. It looks amazing. I haven't been able to get into it, open it yet. But I, w- I think I was uh, I was worried. I wasn't too sure about this. But apparently the neck can go forward. Which means I don't have to rearrange a bunch of stuff. And I can put it on my shelf. Because the shelf space with the head and the neck and everything. So I can put the head forward. Based on the kid on the box. Having a good time with, with the dinosaur. This is what we get excited about, people dinosaurs i this is the first time where i've actually showed up to a a target or a walmart early and i was joking with the guy i go yo this is um usually a lot of people are in line for star wars and i'm like i'm thinking in my head i'm like oh my god like i gotta get there i gotta get there before the these people want this brachiosaurus now one person went for the brachiosaurus they were going for hot wheels and star wars and i'm the schmuck going for the brachiosaurus so (laughs) I got one. That's all that matters. I don't care. Good story to tell, in fact. And then, of course, if you want to go ahead and check out... This This is this is a, a fun... I don't collect the DC Collectibles Essentials figures. Uh, you know, I have a, a lot of multiverse figures, and now we got these NECA figures, and then a lot of Batman... Just DC Comics over the years. So, didn't really get into DC uh, Collectibles, the, the new line of Essentials. However... I have been keeping up with the new comic book line, Deceased, because I'm a big fan of zombies, and I like that kind of horror element, and I like seeing it with superheroes. I like what they did with Marvel Zombies, to a certain extent. I absolutely love Diamond Select's Marvel Zombies. I have a video as well, if you want to check that out on YouTube. They are amazing. Some of my most cherished, favorite action figures that I have. And now, DC Collectibles is doing one's based on deceased and i will definitely be grabbing these because batman superman joker and harley quinn as zombies is very fun for me and they display well so i'm looking forward to getting these these were are definitely going to be a must-have for me now a lot of people are saying well hey wait a minute these are kind of repurposed retooled versions of previous essential figures and they are they got new heads they got paint and things so i understand people's frustration with that most most definitely but i guess in terms of what i'm saying is that it's new for me 
And if you don't want them, I mean, yes, it's always nice. And that's the main kind of thing I talk about a lot with Star Wars and Marvel Legends. It's always nice to get new characters and less repaints. Just how it is. A lot of people misconstrue that as me being upset or something. I don't really get upset about toys usually unless something breaks. (laughs) But uh, yeah, these look great. I'm interested to see what they come with and accessories. I I hope they give them more accessories and things a lot of people are saying well a zombie is supposed to have blood and guts and stuff if you read deceased it's it's not your typical zombie kind of thing so it's different but they actually did a great job and these look spot on to the source material and then also dc collectibles sent over high-res images for their expanding batman animated line they're going to be having this is actually one of the first but it's a more animated take for right now this is the batman who laughs they're also going to have a thomas wayne from the flashpoint universe they're all, uh, who's the other one? It's Talon and a couple other ones. So they're expanding on Batman Animated, things that did not occur in the actual Batman the Animated series. But because that's such a wildly popular line, why not take mainstream, popular comic book characters and put them in the animated line? And it looks cool. I, I definitely think the Batman and Laughs looks, looks really cool. So that'll be a fun figure to kind of check out. This is actually a pretty interesting development. Loot Crate, you know, a couple weeks ago had announced, hey, you know what? We're going bankrupt and we're going to figure out what to do. And NECA acquired them. They bought them. So NECA, Loot Crate, team up. You can do that little NECA X, Loot Crate, Loot Vault, whatever you want to call it now. Because they're still going to stick with Loot Crate, it looks like. But they're going to be doing Loot Vault and Loot Shooter. We'll get into that in just a second. They actually have some interesting stuff as of New York Comic Con to announce. However... As of, let's say, the 7th, today, November 7th, as of this recording, this is the last day to get it. If you are a a present Loot Crate subscriber for any tier or anything else like that, you have the ability to go ahead and get this NECA-exclusive Tech Shield Batman figure. It's the old gold figure from, like, Batman Returns that Kenner did. So it's one of those things where it's kind of rewarding those that were with Loot Crate I know a lot of people are upset, oh, you know, I want to be able to get this, yada, yada. Well, if you got a friend who doesn't really go or has a loot crate but doesn't go for these types of things, I think that's probably your best bet. Maybe they'll release it somehow some way later on. But you have to kind of think, if they're doing this for exclusivity, exclu- yeah, if they're doing this for exclusivity, then we have to get in that mindset again of like, this is how you get it. You can't get it any other way. It's like doing a mail away. How did I get it? Oh, I buy a bunch of Lay's potato chips and that's how I got it. It's not available anywhere else. So... I think companies need to start sticking with that so that you don't think, okay, I missed it. I'll just get it later. That way you get it now. It's done. Done deal. But I think I I kind of have mixed feelings, but it's more on the positive end for this time. I think it's what Loot Crate should have always been instead of a bunch of gimmicky things, you know, like 99 cent store type things. It's just honestly what it is. It's, it's nerdy stuff that they throw into a box and... They try to give you a value for what you're paying every month. But by giving us figures or exclusive items, that kind of propels it a little bit better instead of getting a mystery box. So I like that. I like what they're doing. And then, of course, we'll be talking about it in just a second. But uh, my best to NECA, I wish you, you know, just good things with this endeavor. And I think it's going to turn out really good. I think it's a different change of pace and a necessary change of pace for what they're going to be moving forward with. Shout out to Jack's Toys. Thank you. They sent over their Gutsman figure to me. They were nice enough. They sent over a box of goodies for all the World of Super Nintendo, or World of Super Nintendo, World of Mario, and, and all those good things I absolutely love. So thank you again to them. I'll have a, a few more reviews and such of, but uh, they this is the Mega Man fully charged line. Kind of came and went in stores, really Target and kind of sort of online had them GameStop maybe some stores had this was it just flew in and out of stores and then Target clearance it never saw guts man so thank you to Jax they sent over one and this is the full lineup minus Dr. Wiley that's from the Funko but uh, the robot designs on this I don't know much about the cartoon nor do I really care it's very childish and it's not for me it's not what I consider Mega Man, but you 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 see the robot masters out as they are in the action figure form. They can really fit with that whole Mega Man motif in any sort of fashion, and so I'm I'm looking for a, a Mega Man, a classic Mega Man that's more like um, traditional Game Boy type Mega Man, NES Mega Man. So 
Um, I have a few, but none that really kind of fit the scale of these. So I'm on the lookout for those. But I highly recommend these figures. Uh, they're a lot of fun. They got a lot of action features and gimmicks and stuff that I grew up with. And I I'm very much appreciate it. So thank you again, Jax. This is the stuff of nightmares. This is what happens when animatronics and puppets and everything from Jim Henson. Well, really anybody that worked on old puppetry and stuff from the um, early films of 70s, 80s, 90s. They just, they go south after a while and it's terrifying. <laughs> and then also, okay, so for those that were clamoring to get a Punisher War Machine figure and GameStop had them, they released them early. They released them so early, they were supposed to not be in stores until around winter. So a few of them gone out. They will not be uh, selling them anymore until winter time, until December. So, and I, and I say that tongue and cheekly because you know how sometimes with things GameStop goes, but that's just the haps with it. But, and also in the sense of like, he will not just be a GameStop exclusive or anything. He was a fan channel. So we have proper word that, uh, yes, entertainment earth and Amazon, they all have them up for pre-order. So if you want to grab them, I will put one in the, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Again, having some fun with uh, the Predator aliens. You got John Stewart and you got Apone from the Kenner Aliens uh, NECA line. So I, I can't say enough nice things. Go look at the reviews. New York Comic Con started and NECA was throwing up some photos and was doing that whole tease thing they love to do. And I really love when companies do that because it just it's, it's them having fun. But you got a little bit of a look and they are on display at New York Comic Con. If you're still there, of course, at the two-pack Turtle figures that are going to be Target exclusives once again. You got two turtles packed together and you got some foot soldiers and Bebop and Rocksteady. And we got our also little tidbit look at the upcoming Triceraton figure. And they also fixed April O'Neil's head portrait. So that's really nice to see. Honestly, I didn't think it was that bad when I first saw it. But in seeing how they kind of improved and updated it, I get it. Yeah, that's uh, probably for the best, I would say. Then also something weird went up on Hasbro Pulse for their HasLab. Um, it turns out it was a bit of a uh, like a goof on their part. They were mixing. So basically what it turns out to be, it's like it's nothing. But everyone was thought, thinking that the new HasLab was going to be a Ant-Man figure or a Giant Man figure, something like that. So uh, it turns out that, you know, they yanked it down. But I really do think it's just simply a case of some crossed wires that I had some fun with Catalina wine mixer. If you've seen Step Brothers, you'll know. <laughs> also, I want to address the fact a lot of people said on my Batman Joker Alien review that the cape, I got a bum cape. Again, internet, internet is your friend on this, just FYI. But I really don't mind. I appreciate the conversation and any chance I get to kind of like, you know, kind of talk about it and just rest assured, I didn't get a bum Batman figure. The initial press releases for the figures some time ago, pretty much about a year and a half ago now, they showed a Batman that he had more of a tied cape in front of his cowl, like right underneath his chin. How they shipped, how the finished product ended up being was that it's more of a cape that drapes over his shoulders. If you kind of pull the cape between the space, between his blue mask and his gray costume, there are little slits so you can kind of pull that through and change it up so it can drape over his shoulders. It's, it's, more, it's more of a how-you-see-fit kind of adjustable cape, basically. So nothing broken, nothing faulty, nothing like that. So rest assured, they are one A-OK -okay Batman figure. I love the long pointy ears on that guy. That is amazing. And then going into, yeah, Marvel Legends variant War Machine. Amazon also will be carrying him, so you can grab him pre-order on that. Then also shout out to Mike DeCamp from Fortnite from Jazzwares. They have a Peely three and three quarters. We saw the McFarland Toys one. Jazzwares getting in on it. They have the three and three quarter, and then also a six inch Jazzwares figure. And I can't wait to have a Peely riding around. Maybe several Peelys riding around in my ATX or AT, I keep calling it ATX ATK golf cart. That's a remote controlled Jazzwares three and three quarter inch figure. And then, of course, shout out again. This is a bit of a, a NECA week, no joke. Uh, they have more of their turtles on display, a lot of which we have seen in the past. So we're going to get classic cartoon, the actual cartoon variations of Leatherhead, Metalhead, Slash, and then a Triceraton. I'm actually really looking forward to their video game line, Slash, because I, I, I think the figure looks great. It looks spot on in the cartoon, but my ideal version of Slash is... 
the video game slash the Archie comics slash. So if anybody was a fan of the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Archie comics, let me know because uh, I could talk to you all day about those. Those were awesome. I absolutely love those. They're a nice mix-up of the old cartoon, the comics, the toys from Playmates, all that great stuff. So it was nice to have kind of a storyline to play with your toys. You know, back in the day, shout out to Fanta Tracks and, of course, Star Wars The Black Series on Instagram. They... For UK fans, they kind of narrowed it down on where to get the Force Friday exclusive, so I very much appreciate that. Go ahead. The the Carbonized Mandalorian was going to be at a UK site called Star Action Figures. Second Sister was through comic book retailers. The Sith Trooper was, of course, on Amazon UK because in here it's an Amazon exclusive as well. And the First Order Jet Trooper was at Smith's Toys. Smith's Toys is a wild toy shop. Is my first time when I went over there. Uh, my pops grabbed me a Spinosaurus, and then subsequently I had to go back over to England for reasons, and was able to finally go into one, and it was awesome. <laughs> but no more Spinosaurus after, so I'm glad that uh, you grabbed that for me. Thanks, pops. Mon Dieu! This is going to be a <laughs> convention exclusive for the Paris comic-con coming up and of course the mcm london comic-con coming up this month october 25th through the 27th and if you didn't if you don't speak french in any way shape or form don't to worry he will be available here in the states as a fan channel exclusive and then also on hasbro pulse starting on november 4th along with the gray hulk the yavin luke from star wars the black series so my thoughts on the Deadpool is that it's another Deadpool. I really like the card art. I think even Rob Liefeld liked the card art. He, re- he uh, retweeted it or reposted it from someone's find. But um, yeah, looks it looks nice. We'll just say. <laughs> Shout out to Collect. Uh, well, I should say Diamond Select. It's Collect DST on Instagram. If you want to follow them, they sent over. And thank you. This this means the most to me because I, I'm a huge real Ghostbusters fan. And again, I wasn't able to make it to New York Comic Con. And they were nice enough. They, they got in touch with me. They said, hey, we'll send you one. And uh, put up a review of it if you want to check it out. But I absolutely love it. A lot of people are saying, well, it's just a different head sculpt. But it's the real Ghostbusters. And you have to have it if you're insane. And you got to have all the Ghostbusters. But I think um, I think my favorite part of taking this... This photo was that it's been years and years and years, but I busted out some green slime and doused old Slimer in it, a la the old sliming of uh, Ghostbuster toys. So that was a lot of fun, just taking that picture and having a look at Stay Puffed. I'm scared of Mr. Stay Puffed, I should say. But if you're at uh, New York Comic Con and you want one, they actually sold out, I believe, on day one. So these things went very, very fast. Which then, of course, brings us to New York Comic Con reveals of brand new Marvel Legend figures. If you want to hear all my thoughts, and I have a video up on YouTube right now detailing everything that was revealed with all the information so far that we have on them. We got new X-Men. We got a Fantastic Four wave coming with an unknown build of figures, so can't wait to find out what that is. I don't know if it's up still, but Stan Lee, to pre-order the figure, was up. He will be available in June 2020, so it's a very very early pre-order but you can grab him now on target so in heading back to dc collectibles they had a big reveal at new york comic con there is a new harley quinn statue which she actually looks really good i think that this is the epitome of the classic harley mixing that new sort of harley style especially in the unmasked face and the hair and i think it actually looks pretty good it's a nice amalgamation of the two different types of styles but it's still very classy I like it, and she's got her giant mallet. And then, of course, there's also the Batman Black and White that uh, it's coming for the Batman Court of Owls, the old comic book cover. This was a very interesting. It's Batman in a very mutated owl sort of... It's it's a great comic book cover, and it's really nice to see them kind of immortalize that in more of a statue and, and actually, you know, kind of bring it to life. It's, it's one thing to do in an illustration, but to put it to plastic or whatever, you know, they actually make this out of PVC, but it looks great. It's got some nice texture on it and that black and white look that they do. Excellent. Shout out again to DC Collecticast. They, I did a really nice interview slash podcast with them recently and it's up now on their site. So definitely go and check them out. 
They, uh, when I said they sent over a photo, this is of the, like we talked about, the Batman animated expanded line. You got Talon, and you also got Hush now with a Thomas Wayne uh, Flashpoint Batman. So expect those in 2020, and those look great. It's, it's really cool to see. They used to do that in old uh, Batman the Animated Series type comics and things that kind of came in and out during the 90s. And it didn't really always catch on. They had a Batman Superman magazine where a lot of DC characters that never ever showed up in the animated line would show up. And they they were interesting. They had Plast- I remember Plastic Man being very interesting, Hawkman. So if you have those old magazines, let me know. Because that was uh, those were fun magazines. I had to get them at the gas station. <laughs> Shell gas station, of all things. Shout out and thank you to Caster's Corner. And I want to say thank you personally to Mr. Caster's Corner himself. They sent over the Danny Moonstar. They found me one at Walgreens over where they are because I have not come across them. So he hit me up. Hey, I got an extra one. You want it? And I said, absolutely. So thank you for sending that over. I very much appreciate it. But he also sent over some photos from New York Comic Con. This is the Mezco Mr. Freeze, which looks really awesome, I got to say. That is a fantastic looking Mr. Freeze. It's just... The epitome of mystery. Almost like the Arkham games sort of deal. The old the PlayStation 3 type games. But uh, very Mezco as well. So that's... You know, these new NECA Batman, Superman, Green Lantern figures. Yeah, I'm, I'm Now I'm like actively searching for other more heavily... You know, that, that fit that style that NECA has presented here. And it's all very exciting. And again, shout out to casters. They had a photograph or photo of the upcoming target exclusive bebop and rocksteady two-pack figure so expect those coming very soon more towards the fall i know we're ending october but more let's say end of the october into november i think we'll start seeing these on shelves and then of course shout out to ryan ting and dwight stall from the marvel legends group from hasbro they did a great great job revealing all the exclusives they did a great great job revealing all the new marvel legends it was very cool to see them show up on sci-fi and marvel live so that's always fun and they 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 did it very well they showed off some great new products so that's that's always fun to see and then they also gave away a fantastic four marvel legends t-shirt and Everyone I talked to, they couldn't find it, so I don't know what exactly was going on with it. But if anybody came across one or you have photos, send it on over. I would love to check it out. So I went to Target the night before Forest Friday. I had to go grab something, walked in, and actually found the new wave, just a few of them, with the Jack-specific the World of Super Mario, the 4-inch figures. There aren't any new figures like new characters in this particular wave it's a lot of repackaged old ones but it's new for me because i didn't have the goomba and he is awesome i love he's sitting on my shelf as we speak and i absolutely love that little goomba so that's very cool and then of course we got into triple force friday that evening and all the amazons and targets and walmarts were going absolutely haywire and people freaking out and trying to get all the the figures at various stores and as complicated as they made all that but i had all the links up and you could order them off amazon and target and walmart and all that eb games canada had the c-3po babu frick and no that's not a spoiler if it is starwars.com revealed it themselves for their triple force friday so just because he's got you know the bowcaster and chewbacca's bandolier that don't mean anything that's probably a red herring if anything who knows who cares star wars we know how this is this is going to go. But man, oh man, on that Star Wars Triple Force Friday, I was after that carbonized Mandalorian. That's for sure. I also picked up a Cal Kestis, which I did a little bit of an unboxing on my Instagram live feed. So that was really fun. So thank you to everyone who tuned in. And then, of course, if you still need any help, I still have my Triple Force Friday for Dummies video up on my YouTube. And thank you to everyone that said it helped. And, you know, I try to make this information as clear as possible. I, I've got a knack for kind of dumbing down the information because it gets kind of complicated and overly worded and I try to go well okay Target's got this Walmart's got this and yada yada here's when to find it it's not always gonna be 100% accurate because they do turn things around and things gonna go haywire here and there but hey you know what pretty accurate list and then also the Cara Dune figure from the Mandalorian went up on Target but that's a little bit early as well there's also lots of new pops going up IG-11 and the Mandalorian on Entertainment Earth if you want to go ahead and order those 
And then Target, even though they were like, we're not going to play ball on Triple Force Friday. Well, they ended up doing it anyways. They offered you, if you spent 40 bucks, you got a $10 gift card. So what happened was, I, I, you know, a friend of mine saying, oh, you know, if I can't get the Mandalorian, can you order me one? So I ordered two Mandalorians, and lo and behold, they gave me a $10 gift card, which was nice. Thank you for that. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, really kind of how they brought it to light. They didn't really announce anything, and then people ordered it, and they were like, oh, you know what? Yeah, we actually are going to do something because we don't want to be the only retailers not doing anything. They could have done a little bit, yeah, a little bit easier, but, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Mezco Toys put up their pre-order for their classic Wonder Woman. She looks fantastic. Extra head portraits, hands, shields, axes, spears, everything to kill you with, and her magical truth-telling golden lasso. So I believe she's still available as of right now. So if you want one, definitely go and grab them. Shout out to Tornado underscore Alley underscore Toys, Norman, Oklahoma. They came across the... Star Wars The Black Series, Clone Commander Fox. As of right now, this is the only place to get them. I believe it was a case of like Punisher War Machine and some other figures just kind of coming out early and it was supposed to come out a little bit later. So if you missed them, don't fret. No, these aren't like super limited like some people were pointing out. It's just, they're just coming out early, limited. The only store's got one or two or three here and there. So just trust me on this. Be patient with Star Wars because... We remember what happened last time with the movies. <laughs> Just FYI. And if you want to go ahead and check it out again, I have my Scared Mr. Stay Puffed fresh look for you. New York Comic Con exclusive. Thank you to Diamond Select. This is actually really cool. See, you know, you talk about action figures and toys all the time. And then it's always nice to kind of get a new type of thing to talk about. So Element Skateboards, they put up their images for their forthcoming Masters of the Universe decks. Got Skeletor, He Man, Castle Grayskull, and one really epic one where He Man's on Battle Cat and Skeletor's on his whatever Purple Panther thing with the flocked yada yada, and they're just going at each other from Snake Mountain and Castle Grayskull. They're wild. A lot of people are saying, oh, you know, kids don't skateboard anymore. Yeah, they don't, but I, these are more as like art pieces, and I think that's what they're actually going for. They're more for the collector's room. People of Masters of the Universe want to hang this, the different sort of eye-catching piece conversation piece and i absolutely love the element symbol that they use with that red rock kind of deal going on i think that's beautiful so well done with that also uh i had someone write in shout out and thank you to them they said you know if you didn't if you missed all the black series figures and you want to get them all in one go you get them for cost and 160 you buy the whole wave amazon Put the link in the description below. Again, talking about NECA taking over for Loot Crate. So they are going to have several Loot Crate boxes. It's going to be called Launch That Loot. You can you can actually go and fund it right now. It's $50. They're going to be offering a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. Amazon, uh, uh, Loot Crate box exclusive. It's the Spirit of Splinter. It's basically like a light-up campfire from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. You got a fully articulated Spirit of Splinter figure that they kind of showed off, kind of like, you know, hinted at a little hint hint image right there. You can go get it right now. If it doesn't get funded, it doesn't go, but 50 bucks to fund it. There's also a Godzilla and a Gremlins one as well if you are interested. During the New York Comic Con reveal of the Marvel Legends figures, Dwight and Ryan were also talking about how they're going to be releasing a apparel line for the Marvel Legends figures, various shirts, Marvel Legends logo, using figures to kind of have some catchy little tidbit lines here and there. But up on Amazon, you could get, and I posted about this one, this is the Oh Snap. It features the Walmart exclusive Thanos. And a lot of people were saying the same thing, like, oh, well, I couldn't find him in stores, but now I have him on a t-shirt. So if you want them, I'll have the link in the description below. But yes, on Amazon, you can start getting Marvel Le- official Hasbro Marvel Legends t-shirts to sport at various conventions so that's uh that's pretty cool and then again having some fun with the NECA exclusives and then of course the Mattel Aquaman outrageous you know that kind of thing from the Batman the Brave and the Bold that's still one of my favorite iterations of Aquaman that just works so well shout out to Nostalgic Adam great dude always has the upper hand when it comes to Jurassic Park and you know he dude let me know about the street sharks and all that stuff so thank you the street sharks from the muscle series that we're hitting five and below. Thank you. Thank you very much for all of that. And he sent over some photos 
This is of the clone Commander Fox. He came across one on his Triple Force Friday Ventures as well. And he showed off some photos of him. Looks pretty great. Nice paint scheme overall. My friends over at Doming Toys, they found some extra Captain America, worthy Captain America figures. They threw him up. Unfortunately, they came and went really, really fast. A lot of people were saying like, well, hey, you know what? Like they're, they're marking it up. You have to understand some. I strive to give you guys the best deal that I see in terms of what's on sale on Amazon or what have you. This is the epitome of this thing is, is going for stupid expensive money on eBay. This was like a chance to get like the lowest that I could see and providing you with that. And they went. So for all those that, you know, they, you don't have to be, I guess, so negative to the fact of like, it, if, if you don't like it or something, it, then it's not for you and you don't have to buy it. There's no one telling you to buy it. But for those that have really wanted it and still trying to get it, you know, I think they actually, actually did. So Shout out to NECA Toys. They came out with some photos from New York Comic Con showing off their Triceraton figure. And, of course, their April O'Neil. Again, very excited for those. McFarland Toys showed off their upcoming Vin Diesel movie, Bloodshot, based on the comic book character. And it looks pretty cool. Interesting. I'm curious to see how they're going to do this movie. I'll be honest with you. I'm not 100% uh, knowledgeable with the whole Bloodshot. I know who the character is. And I know vaguely what it's about, but interesting. Uh, Vin Diesel, wonder how he'll pull that off. But uh, the figure looks good and looks well articulated so far. So it's curious to see what McFarlane is going to do with those. For all those still waiting for the Emperor Palpatine Black series, they went out. I got mine, well, almost about a month ago now, I should say. But if you still want one, they went back up on Amazon. They ship on October 20th. So I'll go ahead and put the link in the description below. Shout out to Lemmy Toys and Nintendo Toy News Hub on Instagram. Great dudes, great peeps. They are on top of their Nintendo. They specialize in Nintendo, so they always know the lowdowns and everything. And I go to them quite often because they always find little things hidden on Amazon and stuff. So definitely, definitely check them out. But they came out with some images. These were released, or I'm sorry, they were revealed at San Diego Comic Con of a new line of the 4-inch World of Super Mario. I'm all about that. There's a Boo figure and also Ludwig von Koopa. If you guys remember the old cartoon and instruction booklets from the various Nintendo games. Mario looks to be the same release. Comes with a PAL block now, so I'm going to have to get that. And also, again, one that I don't have, which is Fire Mario. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Luigi again repacked with a star, so I'm going to pass on old Luigi. You know, you don't need too many Luigis, but uh, yeah, looks... Awesome. Very much looking forward to adding some new characters to the whole Jack specific Mario lineup. Shout out to Blaine Err on Instagram. Awesome dude. Definitely go and follow him. He's always up on the conventions and toys and he knows his stuff. He's awesome guy. He went to his Target right after New York Comic Con and found some Gamorrean guards on sale for $2 a piece. Probably some back stock. It's not going to be every single kind of uh, Target store. Of course, this is like one of those lucky kind of finds, but hey, you know what? You never know what they pull out. You know, hey, Force Friday, let's get rid of stuff. So two bucks each. Psh, that's a well-fed rancor right there. Ha <laughs> ha. See what I did? Unicron. Everyone's talking about this. Mazel tov. It's a bot. He was funded. He reached that 8,000 goal. So finally, we can all stop talking. <laughs> and I'd like to say that uh, a lot of people were saying, you know, calling shenanigans or whatever. Look, think of it this way. If you wanted the figure, you got it. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really have to think about because you don't know the details and you don't know costs and everything else, the inner workings of how this is going to go. Neither do I, right? But celebrate the creators of such a endeavor. Where do you even begin designing this? That is a feat of engineering that is, I mean, it's like, it's like they built a house <laughs> and I don't even know where you'd start really with that. So if you don't want to say, oh, good job, Hasbro and oh, shenanigans, all that stuff, at least go, hey, all the designers and the creators and the artists and everybody that had a hand in creating this, celebrate them. That, that's amazing. Like to see this thing at New York, I'm sorry, at San Diego Comic-Con. It's beautiful. It's huge. That thing is huge. So, you know, you can't change everyone's minds, but at least 
say, you know what, to the creators, that <laughs> dang, you rocked it. My God, it's amazing. Shout out to Nix.comics on Instagram. They came across a Mutant XL line at their local Walgreens. It's more of the five and below type Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by Playmates. These are more in the, let's say, I believe they're like 10 to 12 inches. They're a little bit larger, 10 bucks each. Not a bad deal, especially if you want them for kids or something like that. But hey, big turtle collector. A lot of people like this uh, particular style. I don't think a lot of people like the cartoon per se, but they're digging the style. It's different. So I can definitely appreciate that. And... I'm hearing mixed things as to how this like new iteration of the Turtles is going to go. I think they're, tr honestly, I think they're trying to push it, but they're being unsuccessful because I just don't think it's catching on. It's, it's, it's too different. And if you're relying on a lot of kids to buy these kinds of toys, you know how things are kind of going with kids and toys these days. So, and, and really there's a lot of Ninja Turtles. There's not a lot of villains and other secondary characters so that's a little bit odd for Playmates especially, but if you do want these particular Mutant XLs, you can probably find them now or coming soon at your Walgreens store. I took a, f a couple photos of my Cal Kestis. I put them on the, the new uh, Galaxy Adventure Tread Speeder, which I also got. Yank the old Store Trooper on there. Put old Cal on this thing. It's amazing. It's very, very power of the force, but it fits for six inch figures. Highly recommend it. I, I had a lot of fun take a photos and kind of line it up and then of course it brings us to cue the music john williams brachiosaurus is mine it's mine i finally got him all those people sending me photos going like ha look what i got i'm like <laughs> i'm just slowly crying myself to sleep but yes i finally found a brachiosaurus and thank you to target met a lot of nice fine people in the endeavor to kind of find this throughout the week and then of course yes it was on shelves so <laughs> Oh, the things that we that we all go through. Shout out to Bats with a Beard. This is actually really funny. It's from the new Walgreens ad for this week. It's a 25% off coupon. I just like the, the art, the, the clip art that they use. It's a really old Vader. And, of course, a really old Kylo Ren. Vader's not on the shelves anymore, but Kylo Ren is in some capacity. And then, of course, ending it off, I found some really cool Halloween toys and a haunted maze book at a garage sale this past weekend. So... I like gimmicky stuff, like especially during you know Halloween and fall season. This is a little thing of mine. I like to do it. So, what did you guys think of all this news? I hope you stuck around. For all those who made it throughout this entire video, bravo. I hope I covered everything and anything just so you could talk about it at the water cooler this week with friends and family and whatnot. <laughs> so, just to quickly wrap it up, let me know your thoughts on everything. What stood out? What do you got to get? What's the absolute must-haves from New York Comic Con? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything New York Comic Con, Triple Force Friday, toys in general, pop culture, whatever you want to do. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember that if you did make it this far, go ahead and pat yourself on the back. That's a little pat for me. Just close your eyes. I'm doing that. That's creepy. Never mind. Don't do that. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.